In this video, we'll be hunting a box of nickels. We'll be looking for any older Jeffersons from the 30s, 40s, or 50s, including war nickels, or any buffalo nickels, or anything made before that. We'll also be looking for any proofs, foreigns, heirs or varieties, or any other oddities we can find. I'm excited, let's start the hunt, and I'll bring you in when we have our first find. Rule number four, had a reverse facing ender with a Denver mint mark. It turned out to be a 1959 out of Denver. First good find. Rule number six, and we have our first four out of the box. It is just a Canadian nickel, and is from 1986. Rule number seven, and we're gonna have our first 40s nickel of the box. It is a 1947, minted in Denver. Rule number 11, had another Canadian nickel, and this one is from 1999. Rule number 13, had a couple 50s nickels. A 1954, out of Denver, and a 1959, out of Denver as well. Rule 14, another 50s nickel. This one is a 1959, out of Philly this time, which is a date I don't see too often. Roll 15, and we have our first low mintage 2009 Denver of the box. Next roll, roll number 16, and we have another 40s nickel. This one is a pretty beat up 1946 out of Philly. Roll number 18, we have another 50s Jefferson, and interestingly enough, it's another 1959 out of Philly. Roll number 19, we have another old Jefferson. This one is just a 1947 out of Philly. Roll number 21, another 40s Jefferson. We have a 1946 out of Philly. Roll number 24, we have another 50s nickel, and it is a 1957 out of Denver. Roll number 25, two old Jeffersons. 1940 out of Philly, which is the new oldest of the box, and a 1957 also out of Philly. Roll number 26, and we have a pretty good find, because we have a proof nickel, 1981S. It's in pretty rough condition, been in circulation for a pretty long time, but still, a proof nickel is a really good find. Roll number 31, and we have our second 2009 Denver of the box. Roll number 32, and I pulled a messed up edge out of the roll, and it was a 1939. And it's a Denver, 1939D. That's a Key Date Jefferson, I think, about 4 million minted, maybe less than that. It's my second one I've ever found, but it's in absolutely terrible condition, unfortunately. Still, really cool find. Same roll as that 1939D, had two more finds. We actually have another 1939, so we had two 1939s in one roll. This one is just a Philadelphia, and I already checked, it's not the DDR. And a 1959 out of Denver once again. Roll number 34, and I missed another war nickel by the edge, because pretty early in the roll, I see a Denver mint mark on the reverse. See what date it is. Hopefully it's a 43D. I think that's the rarest war nickel. Nope. 1945 Denver. Still, 45D isn't too common of a war nickel, and any war nickel is a good find regardless. Roll number 35, we have a 1957 minted in Denver. Roll number 36, and we have another old address, and I do not see too often. And this one is a 1946, minted in San Francisco. Roll number 39, we have a 1956, out of Philly. Roll number 40, and we have another 2009, but this time, it's out of Philly. Roll number 42, we have another 50s nickel. It is a 1958, from Denver. Next roll, roll 43, we have another 50s Jefferson, and it is a 1953 from Denver. Just cracked open roll number 44, and we're going to have another silver. I barely even caught the edge, but it's second from the end, so it was one away from being an ender. And I just looked at the date, and I saw it was a 1943. So this is going to be another 35% silver war nickel. Let's see what mint mark it is. 1943p. It's pretty much the most common war nickel you're going to find, but still, any war nickel is an awesome find. And that's the second of the box. Roll number 46 had a couple more on the Jeffersons. First is a 1946 out of Philly, and a 1956 out of Denver. Roll number 48, and we have a 1949 out of Philly. Roll number 50, one last find. It is a 1954 out of Denver. Now let's go on to the wrap-up. Nickel box has been hunted. Let's go over the finds. We had 13 S-mints, 
three 2009s, two from Denver, one from Philly, and two Canadians, a 1986 and a 1999. Did have one proof nickel from 1981. It is the type 1, which is the more common variety, and it's very circulated, so not much value in it. Maybe 10 cents, but still a cool find. Don't see those too often. Did have a really good amount of older Jeffersons. Dates of note, a couple 59 Phillies. Don't see those too much. 46S, also a pretty rare one. And, of course, the 1939D key date. Even though it's in trashy condition, it's still a great find. But the two finds of the box... Or the two war nickels, 1943 out of Philly and 1945 out of Denver. Two war nickels, proof, key date, this was an awesome box.